Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Novels on the Run and this is Talking Books Tuesday number 20. Um, I just want to <laughs> say a big hello to Mac 1 and Mac 2 in the USA. You know who you are. Hello, this is me. How are you? Okay, straight on to it as this blows out. Okay, I've got Dead If I Don't by Urban Weight. Now this Chappie has written quite a few books. Stephen King has actually written a blurb on the back. A hell of a good novel, relentlessly paced and beautifully narrated. This is good. I bet the next one will be even better. So that is, and it says the last man, one, one last man, one last job, no second chances. Look at that. Ooh, it looks like a bit of a rabid dog there on the front. All right, lots to get through. Now this one I got down at the local, my husband and I have <laughs> set ourselves a bit of a book challenge. Here's a hardback Stephen King's from um, 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 like, you know, the charity shops. This one was $3.95, Christine Fian, um, Dark Challenge. It is book number five. All of Christine Fian's, um, Fian, Fian's books um, in the Dark series rate brilliantly like not one single book rates under four point whatever and she has thousands and thousands of ratings on it so um, I'm just collecting these um, as a little bit of a thing and also donating to charity and I got these from Big W now that was one of my three dollar forty sevens um, a few weeks back when I did a vlog kiss of midnight midnight breed number one in L Lara Adrian again another series that just rates so well um, and I managed to get these at $2.50 each even though they say $3.47 and this one is Kiss of Crimson number two so now I've got numbers one and two because these ones were four for ten so there you go and Taken by Midnight is number eight so I've got a few gaps to fill there and Kerry Arthur being Australian this is not probably one of the better covers there's a lot more you know um, nicer cover out there this was one of the my two dollars fifties as well four for ten this is number three tempting evil in the riley jensen um, again a badass long series but it rates so well so i really 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 and charlene charlene harris um you know true blood and and kim harrison who's got um well it depends, i don't know if it's the hollows or if it's um um what's her name rachel morgan is it rachel but series anyway you get in brain fart can't think and this one was from the charity shop too this Michael Pry is Australian lives in Swan Hill Victoria and extraordinaries and um, this is book one in 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 I think the extraordinaries <laughs> Um, he's got um, another series, the Laws of Magic series, which is six books, um, and that rates really well. Uh, and this is book one. I had a look on Goodreads, and it gets okay, so I thought I'd give this a go, because I remember when it first came out, and I think I had it on NetGalley, and then it went poof. So, um, and there's only 15 reviews on NetGalley for this, uh, on Goodreads, so I'm going to have a little bit of a, bit of a look at that one. Um, okay, I've got my notes here because I've got loads to get through and I'm trying to do it really quickly. Oh, Sharon Kenyon, yes, he's a part of the $2.50 special too. Um, from the library ages ago when I got my, um, off the trolley, my two really very battered, and they were 20 cents each. <laughs> my two very battered um, books in Sharon Ken Ken Kenyon's very badass long series the dark hunter well that's number 15 which is badass thick <laughs> and that is number 12 devil may cry there we go so they were 20 cents each so booyah you can't get better than that and these ones at 250 each which are in <laughs> brand new condition are um, dance with the devil which is number four and seize the night which is number seven so um I'm slowly filling in the gaps there and also on my $2.50 special I don't think these are a series um, I think they're standalone but 
they're in a series but standalone if that makes sense only on the titles i tried finding out on goodreads um jordan dame who writes YA as well she writes um 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 in the arms of Arc of oh, angels archangels i oh, can't remember anyway these are adult no one heard her scream no one left to tell just because it goes no one and no one and there's another no one one <laughs> And this is another one. This is actually the Sweet Justice series number three, The Echo of Violence. And this was from the charity shop, and that one was $3.95. So, the charity shop being a used book is costing me more than Big W. Um, but it's going to a good cause. Now, flipping over. Oh, yes, here we go. Very much looking forward to getting The Prodigy by Marie, M Marie Lou. Um, it's Legends number one. Prodigies just came out 29th of January. Um, and the point five um, came out on the 15th of January, which is Life Before Legend and Champion number three comes out in 2014. So, um, thank you to Penguin for that one. I did have Legend um, from the library and then I had to return it because I was running late as per usual, as I am at the moment. Now, loving this at the moment under the never sky veronica rossi i know i'm a bit late reading it i bought this one from big w it's harper harper collins oh, about like a year or so ago when it came out well um through the ever sky is um just out 8th of january so um looking forward to reading um through the ever sky and the point five raw of live raw and live <laughs> um was out on the 30th of October it's a novella and into the still blue is number three and I didn't write down here when that comes out so um yeah good this is um taken from the POVs of um Aria and Peregrine Aka Perry I know a Perry um went to school with a Perry not, not that that means anything okay Valkyrie Rising from the library, hardback. I had it on Net Galley, but he went poof because of the time. Um, by Ingrid. Um, um, oh, they always stick the barcode over the name. Seriously, people. Ingrid. Ingrid. Huh. Ingrid. Oh, come on, where's your name? Ingrid Paulson. There you go. Um, it reads okay on Goodreads. Um, the 0.5 Valkyrie Symptoms comes out today, February the 5th. And, um, yeah. On the back, Warrior Girls, Ancient Magic and the Beguiling Tucker. I love a guy called Tucker. Holloway makes this a perfect girl power. Oh, is Tucker a girl? Oh. Oh, yeah, Warrior Girls. Oh, I don't know. I have to read the book. <laughs> With a delightfully fun voice, Ingrid Paulson makes distant... Norway and Norse mythology feel entirely familiar. I loved everything about this book. And that is Tara Lynn Childs, who wrote Oh My Gods and Sweet Venom. She wrote that first. So, Valkyrie Rising. And I won this, yes, yes, on the Australia Day Aussie author only um, blog hop. I won this off of Danielle Banks at Alpha Reader in Melbourne, New South Wales. Um, um, this is um, Margot Lanigan, Sea Hearts. And Margot's written a load of books, like a load of books. And I'm, I'm ashamed to say it's the first time. I mean, I have seen this one about because the, the cover was quite, I don't know, it's like bubbles going up with the faces. Um, but she's written a load of books. And it's the first time that I've really, really paid attention to Margot. I'm very sorry, Margot. Okay, I won't read the blurb on that one. Um, and this one here, um, again, I got this from the charity shop, three ninety five. dollars um, Wicked Resurrection um, by Nancy Holder and Debbie Big U. Um, it's book number five in um, um, the Wicked series. So there's more to read before that. I've seen at the library these ones, and they've actually got um, two books in each, but one and two, three, whoops, which way do we go? Three and four. So, um, and I've, I could have had them heaps of times, but I didn't. Now, 
here we go they're back again I'm showing them off again the hunt and the prey um, I've just put my review up for the prey <laughs> oh wow like Andrew Fakuda Fakuda um, definitely has his own style I really enjoyed this one um, but wow it really is the last few chapters that just went crazy good for me like, I'm talking crazy good for me um, but all the, all the way through it is a little creepy <laughs> and it is it, it, it's just he's just got his own style and that's all there is to it just like me wearing a, <laughs> a cowboy hat normally I'll wear something if I'm doing a theme but there's absolutely no cowboys in any of this so uh, but I got it for Christmas so I have to you know but anyway um Simon and Schuster thank you again for giving me these to read um, obviously I read The Hunt when it first came out and I've just read The Prey um, and yeah it is very good but it's 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 like the hunt it's got that that difference in the style mm. and yeah I'm really looking and, and, and he's got a short story on his actual blog or his web page uh, called the short story the hunt so there's something in there I'm gonna read that on his page on Andrew's page now Marissa's read Cinder, I haven't, but I've got this thing where sometimes I like to read two books together. And and just on the actual blurb vibe, I, and I've spoken to a couple of other bloggers, it was, I felt like there was that feel of um, Blade Runner that um, Harrison Ford was in many, 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 many years ago. Um, and some people have said, yeah, there is like a little Blade Runner type thing going on. Now there is a, a, a 1.5 and... I haven't written it down here. Oh, I had it written down the other day when I talked about Cinder. Scarlet Penguin, thank you so much. Marissa Mayer, Maya, The Lunar Chronicles. Um, thank you for this, or both of these books to read because I got this about a year or so ago. So I'm going to read those with the 1.5. Cinder and Scarlet. And Scarlet's got a, a beautiful cover. I love it. Just the arm and the scarfy cape thing. Now these are my husband. He gets nice hardcover in pretty good condition. Um, Stephen King's from the charity shop, and yet he's only going to buy the hardcovers for um, four ninety five. But I was paying for my paperback three ninety five, and um, he has like I'm so proud of him. He has actually finished Gerald's game, and he actually gave me a verbal review of it, which. In itself was rather surprising and it didn't take half a year to read it he took like a week and a half which was outstanding so kudos to my husband and he's on insomnia now but he I did laugh because the writing is really tiny and um, it uh, 648 pages but it's something really bizarre at the end oh no Oh no, that was, oh no, there's a little something else in the back here. Oh, I get it. Oh. Oh no, there's some other of his books in the back here. Oh, I get it. Yeah, anyway. That's that one. And he's got himself this one. Um, D Dolores Cl Claiborne. And there's um, Steve on the back. So I'm just happy he's reading. This one's got a little bit mouldy mouldy on the things, but I told him he probably needs his little white gloves when he's reading this one. He doesn't wear white gloves, I'm just joking. But that's it. Um, um, there's lots of little giveaways on the blog at the moment, and I'm reading um, a lot of... Oh, and also I got him to read that one, The Forest of Hands and Teeth. I told him it was YA, so it's you know, of a YA level, by Carrie Ryan. Uh, because the movie I think is coming out this year so we like to see movies so I thought he might get a bit of a heads up with that and he enjoyed it but I said it is I said each book gets better and better the dead toss waves is very gripping and the third one which I've forgotten because I have um, the, 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 uh, I, I can it's a longish name and I've got half of it in my head anyway um, Carrie Ryan, yes, it is a, a zombie 
mudos, um, um, unconsecrated, that style, but very gripping, I find. And that is it. I've got loads that I'm reading on um, Kindle and loads that I'm reading on my little OE reader um, off of NetGalley and Edelweiss and The Ward, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, it's a, an apocalyptic kind of tsunami, whatever it is, end of the world coming. I'll just get that up on here real quickly. The Ward. Because I love the cover when I saw it. I'm actually at living now, that's why I'm looking something up on the, the thing on the on Goodreads. And of course I can't find it real quick. <laughs> it's it's got the um like the city part of the city in this big water coming over. And um, I'll be reading that one shortly too because uh, it looks really cool. Alright, that's it. I'm off. I'm trying to keep this short. I could talk for ages on books, but I won't. Um so um, have a good week. Hope you're reading something nice or writing to your heart's content. Yes, Mac 1 and 2. Right away, right away. And um, I'll be back some other time. See ya.